Okay, hi, we're back with Google Forms. And just because I am making a, um, it's in quiz mode, I'm just gonna use it as a checkup because I'd like the students to see immediate feedback. Um, so I started 10 questions. Um, I've already made one, two, and I'm about to make my third. So I kinda wanna show you um, how to set the points um, and the answer keys so they can get immediate feedback. So before we get started, I want to show you this uh, right here. So you might hear my dogs in the background as I'm, I'm talking. Um, I uploaded an image, which you can see here, um, and, or I could just change the color. So that's pretty easy to do. You just basically image and then um, you upload it, you, or you can use one of these themes. Um, there's some options here if you want to explore them. Those are ones that I already used. And then if I want to go find one that I saved. Okay, so if, if that matters to you, then you can change the image. If not, um, then you can just pick, um, go back up here if you just want to change it to a color, um, just so you know that. So let's move on to um, the heavier duty stuff. So I already set up the title of the checkup, name, date, First question, second question. You can see I'm using multiple choice for the first two. Probably what I'm gonna do for most of them um, as I move on down, maybe a couple of, will be short answer. So let me just show you, um, well, if you notice, so I clicked on, when I'm ready for a new question, I clicked on the plus sign to add a question. Oh, there's my dogs. So this here always cr creates the question. And I'm going to give them a true and false statement, like something like um, squares are also rectangles. Oh, they always do this when I feed them. So um, option one is true. And option two is false. And R squares also rectangles, that would be true. And if you go down here, I think you can see that my stop dialog box is in there a little bit. Here's my answer key. And here's where I mark the right answer. And here's where I assign the number of points I want to give it. So I'm going to obviously give it 10 because it's 10 questions. And again, I'm going to tell them it's not going in as a grade, more or less just feedback for me, feedback for them to see how they're doing with our first week of um, perimeter and area. So again, if you want to go to another question, okay, then you would say number four, rectangle, rectangles are also squares. And uh, again, true or so let's go to the answer C and that's false rectangles are necessarily always squares um, and then we're going to assign our points I'm done with that. It's hitting there behind the dialog box. So let me see. I don't. Yeah, I forgot to click that up here. Sorry about that. So uh, let's see what else would be helpful to you. Um, well, if you have questions, let me know. I, I will show you something real quick that I alluded to yesterday in settings. When I first began this, um, it wasn't a quiz. I switched it over to make it a quiz. So you can decide, you know what, I'm going to give it points. Go to that um, setting. And if you do make it a quiz, then you can turn it in locked mode uh, so that they can't open up any windows. I'm not going to do that. It's a checkup. Um, and then you can, you can control some things here. Oh, I got 29 seconds. So let's just save it as it is. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, oh, let's just look at what it looks like for them right now. And I'm approaching my free recording limit. We got 15 seconds. And you can see this will be their view. And I hope everybody has a great night because I have five seconds left. Let me know if you have questions.